Hello everybody, how are you doing? <laughs> I got a question after the last video that I posted last week that asked a really good question and I, I took some time to meditate on it and be with it and it was just top of my mind, ready to go the moment that I was in front of the camera again. So the question comes from a guy or a username, a guy with a username, Kritz. And he asks, are you happy with the world in front of your eyes, Jordan? To summarize, he said basically that, you know, like the human history or some of your older stuff, you know, it's, I remember looking back on it, but it doesn't seem to be as relevant anymore. People aren't talking about it as much anymore. And it's like, yeah, I mean, that was like eight years ago that those came up. I get it. It seems as though the world has moved on with sort of the vibe that people aren't interested in a spirituality or whatnot as much anymore. There's so much focus on so many other things. You know, you go on the news and it's, it's politics and global events and catastrophes and new technology, video game updates and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I wanted to respond to this because I, I, I just felt it was a great question um, and written in a, a kind way as well. And, and once again, just like gratitude to everybody in the comments for just being really kind with your questions. So uh, the first, I have a couple of points. I just made some notes for myself because I wanted to make sure I just covered everything here. Uh, but I think the, the first thing in response to this question was really that you know, a lot of people were really deeply affected by spirit science, more so than I can ever possibly comprehend. Like the level of, of emails and messages that I've received personally and that the, the Spirit Studios has received is just uncanny, the amount of people who have written in to say how deeply spirit science has affected them and changed their lives. And I can say only from my own experience of this information, you know, what spirit science is, spirit science is and is about affected me that much that I'm grateful to, to, to play my part in sharing that with the world. So it, it really is, you know, an honor to be a part of the story with everybody. And this takes place at a multitude of levels as well. Like I've heard from people who've started huge movements or, 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 or work very high up in various social systems in the world and are like spirit science affected the way that we're building the systems that are going to help people to survive in the future like as 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 society continues to grow and stuff like that and i'm just floored to hear stuff like that it's it's really really amazing again i, I i'm just saying this to share like you know this is the kind of feedback that i've received and and still to this day i'm not entirely sure what to make of it other than just to be as humble as I can and be so grateful that that something that I created is helping change the world because that was that's all I really ever wanted I was the, the the core feeling behind spirit science when I first started was like wow if everybody knew about this stuff the world would be a different place overnight so with that said Although people aren't talking about, say, Atlantis so much anymore, there are still so many people who were touched and affected by spirit science. And, and I believe that those people, the ones who really, you know, listened and, and took it into themselves, made a change within themselves and then went out into the world and did something with it, like those people, like that, that energy lives on through everybody. So it doesn't even really, like I could probably stop not that I'm going to, but I could stop making spirit science and it still would have had an effect on on the world. Like that that work is complete in that sense. But of course, knowing me, there's always so much more that I want to do and create. So having said that, honestly, the next point is that I dropped the ball a little bit. There was several really big missed opportunities that took place uh, or that I missed, you know, especially in... 20, I want to say 2013, like after the whole 2012 shift and everything like that. Throughout 2013 and kind of onwards, even up until 2016, and, and the energies kind of faded throughout that time, and it was because I felt very trapped. I really put myself in a position, in a place that I wasn't supposed to be in, and I was so afraid to leave because of 
sort of a dynamic that took place. The long and the short of it was that there was a lot of opportunities that like I could be in a very different place right now. And Spirit Science could be fantastically large with so many more videos and so much more, so much bigger, but it was stifled. It, it really was. And I, I, I have to take responsibility for my own. I stifled it from my fear and my, the, the experiences that I had and the influence that happened to me that I was influenced in the direction of, um, I was very trusting of, of information and people that I later learned maybe I should have been more cautious and more discerning. And so that's, that's just a thing that happened, you know, like I can't really go back and change the past, but I learned tremendously from the experiences. And after finally being free of that scenario, that situation, I just was like, wow, well, what do I, what does my heart really want? Okay, well, I really want to heal. So I'm going to start fasting like crazy and go full like raw vegan for a while. And I'm going to start exercising like mad. And I'm going to <laughs> um, make a tarot deck and make new episodes and all of this stuff. And it just breathed life back into spirit science. It's been a long road because, you know, spirit science really suffered a lot in that time. But we live and we learn. I'm hopeful that from the experiences that I've had and that I've shared and, and you know, I've written about in the book and everything like that, others who might be in a similar position can also learn from those mistakes that I made so that they don't have to happen anymore. Uh, one of the, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to post this, maybe I should, it'd be funny. One of the biggest mistakes that I honestly made uh, was that I had an opportunity to go and meet a particular celebrity. Uh, this this young celebrity who's really cool reached out to me and was like, I love spirit science. I love your work. And I'd like to invite you down to my place and hang out and, and chat about spiritual stuff and maybe make some stuff together. And it would have been the coolest thing ever. Oh man, I'm kicking myself for it. No, I have forgiveness. It's okay. But the thing was, is like, because of the scenario that I was in, I was afraid to leave. There was so much mental and emotional struggle that I declined the request because I was afraid to cause other strife for other individuals who I was involved with. And it was really just this whole kind of fear, jealousy, upset, this thing that just wasn't, wasn't right. And I made that mistake. So to that celebrity, to that, to that person, uh, if you ever see this, just know that uh, I love you. I think you're amazing and I'd love to meet you one day. If you're still ever open to hanging out or doing a video call or something like that, but no worries either way. I fully understand that I dropped the ball and that one's entirely on me. So, you know, is what it is. <laughs> so, so that said, you know, like kind of, kind of moving the direction, also just kind of on going back to the, you know, the topic of like, well, the human history movie isn't as relevant. It's like, we have a new one coming and it's going to be super amazing, actually. Like, I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, but that said, I have two final points. Oh, I have one point and then I have one more point and then I have a final summarization point. So this is a bit of the struggle that I experience in in my life and the, the way that I see the world, kind of relative to the, you know, are, are you happy with the world in front of your eyes, which is the way that the question was asked. You know, it's like, <laughs> what I wrote was, by our ignorance, we create our karma. We create the, the penalty of being, <laughs> being ignorant, not knowing, and choosing to stay in the dark, choosing not to listen, actually. And that's one of the biggest struggles that I have with other people who, you know, like look at the information or rather they don't even look at the information, they just judge it off the bat and they say, this is stupid and therefore you're dumb and I hate you. And I'm like, how do we, why, well, huh? What? And it's like, that's there's just so many people filled with hate inside and I have so much love for everybody, but, I, I think I understand 
what it's like to be in that state, but you know, it's like you have to want to change. You have to want to understand because it's through opening our minds, taking in more information, allowing it to go into yourself and then process and integrate with your heart and your consciousness that allows you to actually create a change both inside and outside of you. And so, you know, for those who choose not to listen, it's like, this is the, are you happy with the world in front of your eyes? You know, I look out in the world and I see a lot of distraction and a lot of chaos and a lot of suffering. I also see a lot of love and a lot of truth and a lot of joy. And I'm not <laughs> necessarily strictly happy with the world, but I'm not mad at the world either. I would say that I'm all emotions towards the world. I am all awareness towards the world. When there's things of love and joy, I experience love and joy towards those things. And I love them and I am joyous with them. And when there's on the other end, you know, suffering and pain and, and, and awful, you know, and just ignorance and, 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 and cruelty that takes place, it, I'm, I, I become aware of it and I wanna do something about it and I wanna bring love to it, but sometimes it's a struggle and it causes frustration to, to see people treating each other this way. And I understand that it's, you know, it's like, we have to look at it from the bigger picture. On the grand scheme of where humanity is going, like a thousand years from now, we'll look back and we'll say, yes, that suffering was necessary because it got us to a point of recognizing how much hate and struggle we actually have inside of us. And it, it compelled us to do something about it so that we could change the world and, and, and make it the abundant paradise that life has become. It's my forecast for a thousand years from now. But that said, being in it right now can be challenging, but each of us can play our part by, by actually just doing that work, doing the inner work, doing the outer work, and making a difference in, all, in the life of everyone and everything around us. So yeah, that that was really actually that was really my final point is 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 I am very happy to see that my work has and now our work for all of us in the studio has really impacted so many people. I'm really grateful, really. And I also see that it's like walking up some stairs or climbing a ladder. There's there's so many levels and layers that we have to, to learn from and, and go through. And I myself personally cannot single-handedly fix every problem in the world. So when there's crazy political struggles and stuff like that, I mean, absolutely, I can and will happily lend my voice and not just political, so any level of chaos or struggle or frustration, whatever that exists in the world, I will happily participate in the conversation wherever it is that I'm needed. And it's not just up to me because each of us have a role to play. So that's how I wanna answer that question. And, and hopefully as time goes on and more videos get produced as this new human history comes out, we'll see a resurgence of interest in these kinds of subjects because it's, could never have been more, it couldn't be more relevant than ever. Is that even how to say that line? It's more relevant than ever. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm grateful. So for anybody out there who enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, uh, like or share, and hopefully bring in more people to make more comments because I love conversing. And I know right now we're still setting up some sort of uh, communication channel for Spirit Science, but uh, but for right now, the comments are great because I can read them, I can respond to them right there, and, uh, and then I can even make videos in response to your questions. So with that, please know that you are loved and beautiful and have yourself an amazing day.